What's up guys, Ghulam Ahmed with GeneActivity.ca. Welcome back, today is day 18, okay, of the Ramadan at home fat loss workout series. Guys, we're coming to an end in this month of Ramadan, in this special uh, spiritual month. I hope you guys had an amazing time so far. We're almost done, we have three more days together and then we're gonna be off to doing our own things. So if you need more help, you need more coaching, you need more support, you need more guidance, feel free to reach out to me. You can email me at info at geneactivated.ca. If you're looking for further coaching and further guidance in your fitness journey, I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. In the meantime, let's get started today. We're gonna start with something new today. It's called pendulum swings. So we're gonna do three sets of 25 pendulum swings today. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna keep our hands on our sides and we're gonna jump back and forth, okay? So imagine there's an imaginary line right between your, uh, your legs here and you're gonna hop over the line and come back, okay? So if we're ready to go, we're gonna get started. You're just gonna keep your feet together, jump across like this and back and forth, okay? You got it? Ready? We're gonna start in three seconds. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful, guys. First set is done. Let's take a break. <sighs> Breathe. That wasn't so bad, right? Just introducing a new exercise to you. If you feel like you want to do more, you can do a little bit more, but we're going to stick with three sets of 25 today. Very nice, guys. I hope you're faster doing, uh, have been great so far. We have a couple of days left, just the final stretch. Make sure you're doing a lot of praying this work, this, this, this time of the month, doing a lot of worship and staying busy in your worship as well to really get those benefits in this month, right? So now already we're ready to go. We're gonna get started in the second set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5. Very nice, guys. So that was your second set in the books. Let's breathe. You guys are doing amazing. Good job. Keep breathing. All right. Let's get into the third set, okay? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, we got a little bit more. We got 27. Okay, good job. So that was pretty good, pretty simple. Trying to keep it a little bit light today for you guys. We've been working pretty hard this whole month, so that we toned it down a little bit today and give you guys a little bit of a break. So let's breathe now. We got a one minute break, and now we're gonna do the next exercise after that, which are gonna be push ups again, but we're gonna do it slightly like we did last week, but add a little bit of, uh, add a different component to it again, okay? So let's continue to breathe. Wonderful. Okay, so what we're gonna do for the push-ups this time is we're gonna do the same thing as last week where we did full push-ups. So we're gonna do eccentric push-ups, meaning we're gonna go down very, very slowly, completely go to the floor, touch the floor, and then we're gonna get back up and then start it again, right? But what I want you to do this time is we're gonna do three sets of eight instead of three sets of six last time, and we're also gonna pause for a second at the bottom in that position. So it's really gonna force you to hold that position while you're going down eccentrically. So what we're gonna do is get into the position, into push-ups. Make sure your hands are right underneath your chest, not all the way out there. We're gonna get into the position to get into a, a push-up here. And now we're gonna go down together. One, two, three, four, and pause for one second and then drop. Okay, so we're gonna take about five seconds to go down, pause for one or two seconds, and then drop and come back up in the same position like this. So let's do the second one. Ready? One, two, three, Four, five, pause, one, two, good. And I'll come back up, that's two. Again, one, two, three, 
four, five, pause for two seconds, one, two, hold it, and relax, good job. That's three, back up again. One, two, three, four, five, pause, one, two, very nice. That's four. One, two, three, four, five, pause, one, two, that's five. Good job, guys. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, hold, one, two, that's six. Two more, guys. You're doing great, ready? One, two, three, four, five, pause, one, two, seven, last one. Ready, breathe, one, two, three, four, five, pause, one, two, and relax. Very nice, guys, let's take a 30 second break. We're gonna breathe. Well done, that was really nicely done. Keep breathing. So this is gonna help you to build some strength again, uh, to be able to do push-ups on your own, on your feet as well eventually, okay? So continue to breathe, guys, very nice. All right, let's do the second set. I'll show you from this side. Okay, we're up. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, and that's one. Okay, good job. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, good job. That's two. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, good. Three, ready? One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, four, beautiful guys. Almost there, halfway. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, beautiful, five. If you can only get to six, no problem, do six, okay? We're gonna try to get to eight, but if, you can, if you're really struggling with this one, no problem, I know it's a little tough, get to six. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, and that's six. We got two more. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, that's seven. Last one, guys. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Wonderful. Okay, let's take a break. 30 seconds. Breathe. <sighs> breathing is the most important part, guys. Keep breathing. <sighs> let's recover. We got one more set to go. Your arm should be feeling a nice pump. Your chest should be feeling a nice pump. Lots of blood should be rushing there right now. All right, let's do the last one, guys. Ready? And we're up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're up, that's one. Ready, again. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, pause. And up, that's two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, hold, one, two, good. Three, very nice guys, you're doing amazing. Keep pushing, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, four. I know it's getting tough now, but you can do it, come on. We're halfway, ready, up. One, two, three, four, Five, hold, one, two, very nice. That's five. Okay, three more to go. One, two, three, four, five, hold, one, two. Nice, relax, six. Two more, guys, you're almost done. One, two, three, four, five, hold, one, two, beautiful. Last one, you can do it, come on. Ready to go? And we're up. One, two, three, four, 
five, one, two. Beautiful, guys. Done. Second, the second exercise in the books. Let's breathe now. One minute, then we're going to move on to the next exercise, okay? You guys did a wonderful job. Good job. Let's breathe. Beautiful. Guys, if you made it this far, I'm super proud of you. Getting to day 18 is not easy. That means you guys have made a good commitment. You guys almost built a habit of working out and being physically fit, especially in this hard month of Ramadan. Hats off to you guys. Good job, okay? And remember, make sure, keep me in your prayers as well, guys. Put a lot of work out for you guys. Hopefully, this is helping a lot of people in the world. And do make sure to share with your family and friends so they can get benefit as well. So let's continue to breathe. Okay, so now we're gonna do something that we did last week, leg climbs. This time we're gonna do 12 per leg, okay? So let's get on to the floor, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep one leg down and get the other leg up and we're gonna climb the leg and touch the top. Remember like last week? So let's climb up, touch and back. One, two, three, four, five, very nice, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more guys, come on, you got it, eleven, very nice, twelve, let's switch sides, and we're up, one, Two, beautiful, keep crushing. Three, you should feel this in your abs. Four, all across your abs. Five, very nice. Six, very nice. Seven, beautiful. Eight. Nine. Ten, we got two more guys. Eleven. Twelve, now. If you're having trouble touching the top of your foot, one quick little trick is turn your foot down this way, okay? You'll be able to touch the top of your foot. If it's like this, it's gonna be hard for you to get on top of your toes. So that was your first set, guys, good job. Let's breathe, 30 seconds, we're gonna do it again. Very nice, guys, you're doing amazing. Let's take one more deep breath and we'll get into the second set. Wonderful. Okay, so now what we can do is make it a little bit tougher, right? If you want to, if you're up for it, you can bring the other leg back a little bit. Instead of keeping it straight, you can keep it back a little bit, okay? And then reach up, touch and go one, two, three, very nice, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job, guys. Let's switch sides now. One, beautiful. Two, Climb up, three, climb up, four, very nice. Climb up, five, climb up, six, almost there, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more guys, come on, 11, and 12, beautiful, okay. Let's take a 30 second break. Very nice. So that was your second set. Now we're gonna take a break. We're gonna do the third set. For the third set, we're gonna make it even harder. If you were up for it, we're not gonna climb. We're just gonna try to reach for the top right off the bat, okay? So let's breathe. Very nice. All right, let's try it. Let's do the last one now.
So what we're gonna do now is we're not gonna try to climb, we're gonna go straight up and touch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more guys, 11, 12. So I'm gonna give you a few seconds to finish up, especially if you weren't able to get there and you're gonna climb. So I'll give you a few more seconds to finish up your 12, then we'll switch sides. Good job guys, keep it up. <coughs> Woo. Ah, bless me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to edit that part out. So now, we're gonna go for the next one. And one, two, so you're touching with your opposite hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Wonderful. Okay, very nice. So we're done the third exercise. Let's take a minute break now. And now we're gonna move on to squats. So we've been doing squats with quite a few progressions ever since we started this series. So today we're gonna do the final progression which is gonna be squat with a dumbbell, okay? So you're gonna be doing something called goblet squats where you're gonna put the weight, if you have a weight at home, or you can use anything else that's a little heavy, right? You could even use your kid, if you have a little newborn kid, you can hold them in the front. But what you wanna do is you wanna hold the weight in front of you like this, and I'll show you how to do that with the dumbbell. And then we're gonna do the squats that we were doing like last week. So we're gonna go down, and come up, okay? So we're gonna do three sets of 10 to 12 today, okay? So let's keep breathing. So if you have your dumbbell, go ahead and get your dumbbell, or your kid, or whoever you wanna hold, or whatever you wanna hold for some weight to make it a little bit tougher. I'm gonna get my dumbbell, I'll be right back. So what we're gonna do is, first wipe the sweat off her forehead, because we're working hard. We're gonna put, you're gonna grab it like this, like cup the dumbbell like this. Keep the dumbbell really close to your chest. It should stay up by your chest the whole time, okay? And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take your hips back, sit down, push the ground down, come back up, that's one. Ready, let's do it, we're gonna do 10 to 12. Push, come back up, two. Push, come back up, three. Four, make sure you keep your chest up, don't let the weight Drop your chest down and mess up your back, okay? Chest up tall. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, let's do two more, yeah? Let's go, come on, one. And two, beautiful guys. So that was your first set. Let's take a 30 second break. I'm gonna get a little bit of a heavier weight and I'm gonna get, meet you guys up in 30 seconds again, okay? Okay, so I got a little bit of a heavier weight for this one, that was a little too light, but feel free to get the weight that you feel is comfortable for you, okay? And we're gonna get going in about five seconds. So again, you wanna grab it like this, keep it close to your chest at all times, Feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Take your hips back, push the ground down, come up. One, two, very nice. Three, four, beautiful guys. Five, six, seven, very nice. Eight, nine, ten, two more. Eleven, remember to breathe. And 12. Beautiful. Let's take a break. 30 seconds. Breathe. Very nice. So the idea is you wanna make sure you take your hips back first and then bend your knees at the same time, okay? Don't drive forward with your knees first. Always hip hinge and then bend your knees at the same time. Almost simultaneously, but you start with your hips, okay? So keep breathing. One more, and let's go. Okay, back to the front, 
And we can show you from this side now. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Very nice. Push. Six. Seven. Eight. Wonderful. Nine. Ten. Eleven. One more. Twelve. Beautiful, guys. Done three sets now. Let's put away the weight. Let's take a minute break. Then we do the last exercise, okay? Let's take a minute break now. Keep breathing. Recover, recover. So this one that we did last week, we're gonna do it again this week because it's really important for the lower back. It's called the kneeling plate presses. You can get a textbook, get any type of weight that you have, and then we're gonna get into it. So I'm gonna get my dumbbell, and then we're gonna get to it. So we're gonna do, um, you're gonna get on the floor, right? We're gonna hip hinge, right? Take the hips back, keep the chest up tall. Make sure there's a flat, uh, there's an arch in your back, okay? And then from here, bring the weight to our chest level and press it out, one. So let's do it, we're gonna do 15, three sets of 15. Push, two, nice and slow and controlled. Three, four, five, good. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, beautiful. 11, chest out. 12, 13, 14, 15. Very nice, guys. Beautiful. Let's take a break. 30 seconds. Wipe some of this sweat. Whew, sweating a lot today. Anytime we do legs, we sweat, which is good. Good job, guys. Let's keep breathing. You're doing wonderful. We got about five seconds to go. And then we're gonna get going. All right, chest out. Push, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, beautiful. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, almost there. Come on, fight, 14, one more, 15. So when you're pushing it outside, you wanna make sure the weight stays in the same line. It doesn't drop down, okay? So that's gonna force you to use your abs more and to use your uh, back as well. So. Let's breathe one more set. Almost done for the day, guys. Just one more set left, then we're gonna do our stretch and we're all done. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy our after. Okay. Ready to go? Let's do the last one. And we're up. One, two, three. Four, five, focus, six, good, seven, eight, remember to breathe, nine, 10, 11, 12, few more guys, come on, 13, 14, 15, beautiful, so, I can tell this looks easy, but it's not. You could probably tell too, this is pretty tough. So very nice guys. Let's put the weight away. Let's take a minute break, cool down a little bit. Then we'll get into our stretch. All right, so let's breathe now. You guys did a wonderful job. 
The 18 is almost done, so we're gonna get into a stretch now. This is a great stretch for your hip flexors, okay? For a lot of people, these are very tight as well. So I wanted to show you, through, uh, take you through my stretch for that. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna bend your back knee down, okay, from here. Now, you know what, I think it'll be best if I show you from here. Okay, so this way, what I can do is, we're trying to, we're trying to stretch this area here, right? In order to do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna step like this, and then all I want you to do is I want you to get your chest up tall and start to shift your hips down forward this way, okay? So start to shift your hips down forward this way. You're gonna start to feel a stretch here, okay? Now, the main reason people don't feel a stretch here is because they don't do the, uh, the other main component of this, which I'll be able to show you from the side now, which is gonna be, you wanna be able to actually lift the other leg up like this, okay? You're gonna need support for this. So you can hold on to the wall, right? Lift the other leg like this, and then you wanna also flex your butt. Well, as soon as you flex your butt cheek, as soon as you flex this butt cheek, you'll feel it right here in the groin in your hip flexor, okay? So hold this up, flex your butt cheek, and now you shift forward and you'll feel a nice stretch here in your hip flexor. So flex the butt cheek and then pull this up and pull this guy down. And oh, it's a really nice stretch. So you're gonna hold this about for about 10 to 15 seconds, keep the butt cheek flexed, and you'll feel a nice stretch all across here. And keep breathing, very nice. So. This is gonna be a little bit tough on the knee, so you might wanna get a nice mat so that's a little bit cushioned, right? And then we're gonna switch sides. So again, what we're gonna do is get some support, right? Make your hand on your ankle, lift it up, right? Now from here, flex your butt cheek, push your hips down this way, and bring your leg up this way. And you will not really feel the stretch unless you flex your butt cheek. So that's the most important part. You'll get a nice stretch in your quad and your hip flexor. So you wanna do that for about 10 to 15 seconds per side, and that'll be really good. If you're a runner, somebody that has to do a lot of this motion, you guys usually have really high, tight uh, hip flexors, so this is a great stretch for you as well, so that you could keep, those, keep this area healthy and injury free. There you have it guys, day 18 in the books. Well done, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being with us this far. You guys have been doing amazing. I'm super proud of you. I'll see you guys for the next, next two days, day 19 and day 20. And we're gonna finish strong in this month of Ramadan. Take care.